Welcome to CAT Tutorials and in this video I'll be covering practice problem 3.12. Now this section or this unit is 3.9 in the book Fundamentals of Electric Circuits and it talks about transistors. You have quite a few types of transistors but this section talks about uh, bipolar junction transistors or BJTs. And these can be further uh, put into categories called uh, PNP and NPN. But our main focus is going to be on NPN, which have a basic schematic like this. So from the top, you have a current IC. From the side, you have a current I beta. And from the bottom, you have IE going down. So this is defined as it is. So if you were to go around the loop this way, you'd be opposing both of these because they're always defined in this way. There are also uh, mathematical relationships between each of these variables or each of these uh, currents and voltages, which I indicated here. The last one would be uh, VBE, which is over here. So here are the relationships which we have. So IE, which is at the bottom here, is equals to the sum of I beta and IC, right? And furthermore, VCE plus VEB or VBE, doesn't really matter, plus, uh, so this is, this is E, so BE, EB, whichever way you put it. So VEB um, plus VBC. So these um, these subscripts show how you actually go around the transistor itself. So that's why it's actually swapped around. Here it says BE because we are moving from the positive to the negative. But here it actually says EB. So which means we're moving like that. So starting here at VCE, just to show how this equation was formed. So plus VCE and then negative VBE, which is uh, VEB, that's what we have. And negative VCB, which is BC, right? And that's what we have is equals to zero. So these are the equations which you have. Another equation which is uh, quite interesting or useful is IC is equals to alpha, um, alpha IE right and another equation is ic is equals to beta ib and the last one which we are going to find to be useful is ie is equals to one plus beta i beta now having all of these equations we can now solve this problem which we have now the question says given this transistor circuit and given that vbe is equals to 0 0.7 and we have beta given to us as as 100 we should find vo and vce so vce is over there and vo is over there so we've been using our kcl kvl throughout so all of those principles still apply even when we have transistor circuits so this is 500 uh, this is 500 here I just want to make it clear and this is 12 and this is 200 and this is 10k ohms and this is 5 volts and that is vo indicated and that is vce indicated now looking at this schematic of our, our bjt npn transistor we have I beta going that direction. So that will always be the convention. And we have IE going down. We have IC going down as well. So we can come here and apply the same thing. So we have IC going down. We have I beta coming in there. And we have IE leaving. There we go. So now, what can we do to find... Let's start with finding VO. If you look at VO, it is actually across this uh, 200 ohm resistor. And we know that the current across that resistor is IE. 
Now, this is basically just a terminal. You can ignore this. This is uh, a point where you put uh, a probe there and there just to measure maybe the voltage across there or measure VO. So this is not, this does not have any effect on the current which actually flows, sorry. So the current which flows as indicated in the schematic is still going to be IE. So now we're going to go around this loop just like we did with our regular circuits. We go around that loop. So let's start, starting with the voltage source over here. We're going to have negative, we're going to have negative 5. Then we're going to have 10k multiplied by the current I beta. So class 10k multiplied by I beta. Then we're going to have VBE, which is given to us. So plus VBE. I'm just writing it out before I substitute so you follow or you know where everything is coming from. So plus VBE. And then finally, we have plus 200 multiplied by IE. So plus 200 multiplied by IE. So let's check like we always did. So we're going to check we have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1, 2, 3, 4. So everything is in check. Equate that to 0, right? So now all we have to do is to manipulate this or substitute the values which you have and see what we can do from there. So we're going to say negative 5 plus 10k I beta plus VBE, which is given to us in the question as 0.7, 0 0.7 0 .7 plus 200 IE. So where do we actually move on from here? So we know that um, from this or from that point, we know that VO is actually equals to 200 IE, but we don't know IE, we don't know IB. So let's move to our equations and see what we can do or what we can use. So looking at our equations, uh, we don't know IC, so we can't use the first equation. We don't know VCE or VBC, we can't use the second equation. Uh, at this point, we don't know IC, we don't know lambda, we don't know, uh, we know beta, but we don't know I beta, we don't know IC. But if we look at this one, we have IE defined in terms of I beta and beta. We have beta. We don't have I beta, but if it combines with this other I beta, which is in here, we can actually find I beta. So let's write I E in terms of beta and I beta. So doing that, we have negative five plus 10 K I beta plus 0 0.7 plus 200, and then multiplied by I E in terms of beta and I beta. So we have one plus beta, uh, 1 plus beta multiplied by I beta is equal to 0. Given in the question is our VBE and beta equals to 100. So substituting 100 in here, we'll have the equation with variable I beta only. So doing that quickly, we'll have negative 5 plus 10k I beta plus 0 0.7 plus 200. And then substituting 100 in here, which is beta, plus 1 is 101. So 101 I beta is equal to 0. Now grouping the terms, saying we should combine 10k and 200 multiplied by 101 beta. So we're going to have 200 multiplied by 101. And all of that is going to be added to 10,000 I beta. Not. And the answer to that is 30,200 um, I beta. Now, taking everything else, the constants which you have in the equation, to the other side of the equal sign, we're going to have this negative 5 is going to become positive. So we're going to have 5. And this uh, positive 0 0.7 is going to become negative on the other side of the equal sign. So we're going to have negative 0 0.7. So Ultimately, after doing some math, we're going to have this equals to 4.3. Divide both sides by that. Divide that. And cancel that. My pen is fading. Forgive me. I beta is equals to 4.3 divided by that. So 4.3 divided by that. We are going to have... One four 
two point three eight uh, micro amperes, and that is I beta. So we now have I beta. We now have we also have beta uh, from the question. So we said or we concluded from what we have here because I e goes to the positive terminal of VO first. So VO is equal to 200 multiplied by I e. And I e was written in terms of beta and I beta. We now have beta and I beta. So we can just substitute that in there and say VO is equal to, okay, let me use a different pen because this one's fading. So VO is equal to 200 multiplied by writing IE in terms of beta and I beta, right? So 200, one plus 100, multiplied by I beta, which you find to be 142.38 times 10 to the power minus six. Now multiplying all of that, so multiplying that times uh, 101, and then multiply by 200, then our answer for VO is going to be 2.876 volts. That is our VO. But we aren't done with the question. The question asks for VO and VTE. So we now have our VO over here, right? So I'm going to erase uh, my working for the previous part and continue to find VTE. So like I said, so just record that, uh, VO, so this is 2.876. So in raising all of this, raising all of this, so we can now work on V, C, E, right? Okay, let's, let's continue with a different color yet again. So now moving on to, let me just let the camera focus. Focus. Good. Okay. So now moving on to this loop and going in that loop in that direction, uh, we're going to have negative VO, negative VCE. And then since we have a defined current IC at the top and we are opposing its direction, then we're going to say uh, plus 500, but negative IC because we are actually opposing its direction. And then we're going to finally come here to 12. So plus 12 is equal to zero. So we have one, two, three, four elements in that loop. And we have one, two, three, four terms in our equation. So we most probably have everything or we definitely have everything. So we found uh, this VO to be uh, 2.876 and VCE is the variable which we're interested in. And let's see. So we have, we have uh, that. So it's gonna multiply out to be this. And finally we have 12. So let's look, what do we have? What do we know? So from our equations, we know that IC is equal to beta multiplied by I beta. We have beta and I beta at this point. So you can write IC in terms of beta and I beta. So we're going to say negative 2.876, subtract VCE, subtract uh, 500, and then writing IC in terms of beta and I beta, which is basically beta multiplied by I beta plus 12 is equal to zero. So now, just uh, taking this to the other side will give us VCE is equal to all of that. So doing that, we're going to say VCE is equal to negative 2.876, uh, subtract 500, multiply by 100, multiply by 142.38 times 10 to the minus 6, and then finally plus 12. Now punching this into your calculator, we should actually find VCE. So let me do that quickly. So I have negative that, negative 500 multiplied by 100 multiplied by 142.38 times 10 to the minus 6. And then finally, plus 12. So the answer to that is 2, 2 uh, 2.005, which is approximately equals to 2 volts. And that is your answer for VCE. 
And that is how you solve this problem.